Imagine a subterranean realm, a hidden and effervescent world beneath our feet. Inhabited by master creators of natural architecture, termites. This journey immerses us in a universe where collaboration, engineering and biological secrets intertwine to reveal fascinating scientific curiosities about these creatures. We are in awe of nature, but rarely do we stop to consider the complexity of termite societies. Did you know that they have a social structure as sophisticated as that of humans in some respects? Look at their hives, true architectural marvels, built with a precision that rivals that of the best engineers. Not only are these structures home to millions of termites, but they also have ventilation and temperature controlled systems, all without a central plan or supervision. Welcome Plantastics on an exciting journey into the amazing world of termites. Let's get to it. Termites, despite their reputation as wood destroyers, are complex and sophisticated insects with bodies that reflect their adaptation to a social and subterranean life. How are these creatures physically structured? Their bodies are divided into three main parts, the head, thorax and abdomen, a common feature among many insects. What distinguishes termites, however, is their set of specialized adaptations. They have strong, powerful mandibles, known as chelicerae, which they use to chew wood or defend the colony. Unlike other insects, worker and soldier termites generally lack eyes, as they live and work in complete darkness. Their communication is based on touch and chemical signals, rather than vision. But which scientific family do they belong to? Termites are classified in the order Isoptera, which means equal-winged. Referring to the characteristic of having two pairs of wings of similar size in reproductive or winged termites. This order has been intensively studied and debated, and recent genetic research has revealed that they are most closely related to cockroaches, leading some scientists to classify them within the superorder Dictyoptera. This relationship highlights the antiquity and resilience of termites as a group. When did termites appear on Earth? These insects have a long history, with fossils dating back more than 120 million years to the Cretaceous. Their appearance coincides with the diversification of flowering plants, suggesting that termites have played a role in the evolution of terrestrial ecosystems since ancient times. Their ability to digest cellulose, thanks to a symbiotic relationship with microorganisms in their digestive system, has allowed them to exploit a food source that many other organisms cannot use, contributing to their success and dispersal over the millennia. The diversity of termites is remarkable, with more than 2,600 species described worldwide. This diversity reflects their ability to adapt to a wide range of environments, from rainforests to savannas to deserts. Each species has unique characteristics that allow it to survive and thrive in its specific ecological niche. What are their hives, those underground monuments, like? Termite hives are not simple mounds of earth, they are complex, highly organized structures, true feats of biological engineering. Designed with natural ventilation systems, these hives maintain a constant temperature, crucial for the rearing of their young and the cultivation of fungi. Each chamber and tunnel is built for a purpose, from breeding to defense to food storage. But how is such a complex society organized? At the heart of each termite colony is a strict social hierarchy, with each member playing a specific role. From the queen, whose main task is to reproduce, to the workers, in charge of construction and food gathering, to the soldiers, who protect the colony, each termite contributes to the success of its community. And how do these voiceless creatures communicate? through a sophisticated chemical language. Termites use pheromones to communicate, sending complex signals about dangers, food routes and more. 
This communication system allows them to coordinate their activities with astonishing efficiency. From defending the colony to expanding their underground home. So what do termites eat? Contrary to what many believe, their diet goes beyond wood. Termites consume a variety of cellulose-rich materials, from fallen leaves to paper. This appetite for cellulose plays a crucial role in ecosystems, helping to break down dead plant matter. But what really allows them to digest cellulose is their symbiotic relationship with microorganisms in their digestive tract, an alliance that gives them access to nutrients unattainable to many other living things. Did you know that the termite queen is one of the longest living insects? Capable of living for decades, their longevity is vital to the stability and growth of the colony. This impressive lifespan underscores the efficiency of their organized society and the advanced biology that allows them to thrive in diverse environments. In addition, termites practice a form of agriculture that is unique in the animal kingdom. They cultivate fungi in their hives, which break down the cellulose in wood, turning it into more accessible food for the colony. This interspecies cooperation is a fascinating example of mutualism and further evidence of the collective intelligence of termites. But not everything in termite life is peaceful. When faced with threats, some species employ extraordinary defense tactics, such as specialized soldiers that can explode, releasing toxic chemicals to repel invaders. This act of sacrifice shows the complexity of their social behavior and the value they place on collective over individual well-being. The ability of termites to build hives that can regulate temperature has led scientists to study them as a source of inspiration for sustainable architectural design. Their natural climate control techniques offer innovative ideas for more energy-efficient buildings in our own world. What about diversity within a colony? Although at first glance all termites may look the same, there is a huge variety of shapes, sizes and colors, each adapted to specific roles within the colony. This diversity is a testament to the evolution and adaptation of termites to their environments, ensuring that the colony can respond to challenges and opportunities. Let's continue with more curiosities. In their search for food, termites are not only guided by smell. They develop complex and efficient pathways, marked with pheromones, that allow them to optimize resource gathering. This map-like behavior underlines their incredible ability to navigate and manipulate their environment. Termites are not only fascinating for their biology and social behavior, they also play a crucial role in their ecosystems. As decomposers, they contribute significantly to nutrient cycling, enriching the soil and allowing new organisms to grow. This essential ecological role often goes unnoticed, but it is vital to the health of our planet. Termites, through their decomposing activity, not only recycle nutrients, but also increase soil fertility, facilitating the growth of new plants and contributing to robust ecosystems. Their tireless work ensures that dead organic matter becomes part of the life cycle again, rather than accumulating and hindering new growth. But how do termites impact other aspects of their ecosystem? Beyond their role as decomposers, termites affect the distribution of water in the soil. By building their intricate networks of tunnels, they allow water to infiltrate deeper into the soil, improving soil structure and reducing erosion. This process of aeration and mixing of different soil layers is crucial for soil health, especially in arid and semi-arid regions where termites are most prevalent. However, the relationship between termites and humans has been complex. Although in nature they play a positive ecological role, in urban and agricultural environments they can become destructive pests. 
Their ability to damage wooden structures has led to the development of numerous control methods. But it is important to remember that the challenge is not only to control termites when they become a problem, but also to preserve their ecological role and the benefits they provide to their natural ecosystems. Have you ever wondered who dares to take on the mighty army of termites underground? Despite their formidable organization and chemical defenses, termites are not alone in their underground world. They have a variety of natural enemies that keep their populations in check and contribute to the balance of ecosystems. Find out who these brave predators are that challenge termite colonies. Who rules the skies in the battle against termites? Birds, from agile woodpeckers to opportunistic swallows, are formidable termite hunters. During termite nuptial flights, when the winged breeders swoop in en masse, these birds feast, capturing termites in mid-flight. What little warriors challenge the termites on their own turf? Ants, especially warrior ants, are the termites' fiercest adversaries. With a social organization as complex as that of termites, ants launch coordinated attacks. Invading termite nests and overcoming them with their numbers and ferocity. Which amphibians and reptiles join the fight? Frogs and toads, along with lizards and some snakes, take every opportunity to feed on termites. These predators often lurk near nests or capture termites while foraging for food. Who are the mammals that can't resist a bite of termite? Anteaters and pangolins, with their powerful claws and sticky tongues, are specialists in breaking termite forts to savor their rich source of protein. And what about other insects and arachnids? Even in the world of insects and arachnids, there are those who specialize in hunting termites. Predatory beetles and skillful spiders infiltrate hives or capture unsuspecting termites outdoors. Scientific research continues to reveal more about these fascinating creatures. For example, recent studies have discovered that some termite species have the ability to produce their own natural pesticide, a defense mechanism against pathogens and parasites. This discovery not only sheds light on the complexity of biological interactions in termite colonies, but could also inspire new approaches to pest control. In addition, the ability of termites to work together so efficiently has captured the attention of scientists in the field of robotics. Termite-inspired robots, which can build and work as a team without central direction, are being explored as a way to perform tasks in environments that are dangerous or inaccessible to humans. In terms of conservation, it is crucial to understand and protect termites and their habitats. The destruction of forests and the alteration of natural landscapes affect not only termites, but all species that depend on them. Termite conservation is therefore an important aspect of the conservation of entire ecosystems. Thank you for joining us Plantastics on this journey. Leave us in comments what do you think about termites. Keep exploring. Stay curious. And remember, there is always more to learn in the green mysteries of our world. Be sure to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel, so you do not miss any video. See you in the next episode.